Okay, we'll be working on this midsection next. We finished with the base, so now we'll be building the midsection. Now, <coughs> I have a bunch of measurements here. Maybe you can see it on this one better. It's 10 and a half across the bottom, 8 and 1 eighth across the top, and <coughs> from top to bottom, you get 10 and 3 quarters. And this angle here is 6 degrees or 84 degrees. And you set your table saw at 22.37 or 0.4 in that range. Should be good. <clears throat> so here we got the, the saw. It's set up over 22.37. I got my miter gauge set at 6 degrees. I got the stop block set up all ready to cut. Okay next uh, we take four together here just to hold it all together in position. So we want a flat surface so we want this to be parallel with here. So all we do is get a piece of scrap wood, set it up here, draw a line across here and at your angle you can set your saw, the tilt for the saw that mine came out to 14 degrees. Then I trimmed them all up, all eight pieces, and now we'll assemble the rest of it. Make sure you check, make sure these points all line up. Now put your tape on her. Okay, it's the next morning. Uh, we let it dry overnight and now we're just going to tear off the clamps and clean her up a bit and uh, we'll probably start on the next section. Okay, we just gave it a quick sand and cleaned up all the blue marks. Like, you always have a little bit of squeeze out, but it's all nice and clean. All the joints look nice and tight. If you can see those joints there, they all look good. Inside, well, I cleaned it up. It could be a bit better, but it's good enough for now. Okay, another thing I did here. I added some half inch by one inch strip the plywood around the perimeter. That solid midsection sets up the proper height. Plus it provides softening for underneath here. Okay, we're gonna be working on the upper section here. And uh, the measurements are 15 and 5 eighths. Right here is three and one eighth or whatever your, your measurements came out to. And this one is six inches up at the top and the angle here would be four degrees and this one here is just a shy of 22 and a half we'll put it at 22.4 so we'll uh, cut her out I got this one edge cut already and now we're going to cut off the other edge but I'll show you how we set up for this one. I wanted to use the miter gauge, but the miter gauge didn't work too well. It just wasn't quite long enough. 
So I'm using a little different setup. Okay, we lined it up with the blade here, get that uh, angle, and put a straight edge across the blade. Of course, you want to unplug your saw when you do that, and line it up with your line. And once you got your line uh, figured out, you put a stop lock here, a stop lock here, and I clamp it down. That way she's not going to move on you when you cut it. Okay, now we're going to cut the angle on the opposite side, so we flip the piece upside down. Got a spacer here, the same thickness as the material you're working with. So your straight edges are going to troop down. And make sure your saw is unplugged. We tested it, we unplugged it. Look at it for the end of the cord. And we can even try it, just to be on the safe side. Nothing's happening, so we know we're good. Okay, here we're going to have to scribe the line. This line here, I'll tell you uh, what angle you got to set your table saw on. And again, we'll just use this parallel for the top. So, we want to have a nice flat surface here when we mount the head. Okay, we got this upper section all glued up together. We cleaned up the glue. It's looking pretty good. You'll notice I have bungee cords around here, bicycle tubes, and a web strap here. That'll hold her. <coughs> now you want to make sure you apply enough pressure to get these corners to come in nice for you. Okay, that, that's it for now. Okay, we attached some clips here. When we made them, I just had some scrap aluminum laying around. We made them three inches long and three quarter inches wide. I put a three sixteenth hole in either end. I used the step drill. Works very nice. Uh, it doesn't catch like a drill bit does. It does a nice hole in thin metal. Okay, next we're going to be uh, attaching top piece, the cap for this top section. So again here we just line it up to one inch here and we trace it out. Okay, next we cut, cut it out. Okay, yeah, we finished cutting out the piece here that we need for the top. I mark center in there. I'm making up a packer block for it, which we're going to nail and screw on the back of this. It's going to accept a lag bolt, 
which is going to hold on our head so it can rotate. line. I just put a G there for good. We'll just line them all up. Now you want to line up the points the best you can. And then insert your screws. Previous to this, I rotated it eight times trying to find the best possible combination. And this was the best. And we're going to screw it together here. Alright, there we got them all screwed in. And now it's time to clean up some glue. Now we're just, uh, the transition between the two pieces by putting a little body filler in it and just put some on it and sand it down to a nice smooth surface. So that's it. Around the perimeter looks pretty good. There's a view from the inside what it looks like. And when we brought it down I use a file to take off any hard stuff, high spots, you can see this is convex and that works very nice for taking off any high spots. And then I use my sander. I got 60 grit on there. Later on I'll go to 80 and then about 120. And then I'll do some priming and see how smooth it is. Okay, that's it for now.